don't care. I'm go So help me God, I'm gonna break these suckers in. All right, so before I um, continue the rest of this video, um, as you know, we are having lunch and we are doing actually a recipe. This part of the video is in partnership with HelloFresh. Every month, you know that we do that. We pay as customers with HelloFresh for about three to four years now. It's that long that we've been buying HelloFresh. The recipe that we're doing today literally is one. We already did it before on our Instagram, on my stories. Hey, if you follow me on my stories, you've already seen, but this is a recipe. You guys were asking me in my stories, what is this recipe Michael is making? It was this one. And we're doing it again. Crispy, crispy Cajun chicken sandwiches. Cajun. <laughs> the packaging that HelloFresh uses to ship your food is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. They offer so many recipes to choose from each week, so it really helps to break out of your recipe rut. And remember, I've mentioned this before, but they have like family friendly, calorie smart, prescatarian, and veggie options every week. So every recipe as well is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. And my code is there for you as always. Go to hellofresh.com, use my code KarenBritchick14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. I've never made fried chicken before, and this is absolutely delicious. That's like a, that's a southern thing. I feel bad actually not knowing how to do fried chicken. It's and I love the, the way it's telling me to, to like double dip. Go to the, this first, right. then you go into the sauce, and then you go back to the, the mix here, and that creates like a nice little thick coating for the chicken. To do. So it's like you're always learning like different like tips. I've learned so much cooking with HelloFresh, it's mm -hmm. not even funny. And remember, you can choose from their ever-growing um, rotation of weekly recipes, including hearty soups, chilies, and in-season full produce, just to take advantage of the season's fresh flavors. And that's it. That was so easy. I can't believe how easy that is. What, just to fry? Just to do fried chicken. Like, now I just flip it and that's it, pretty much. We're done. Yeah. That's so easy. It is. And now we've got that recipe for life. We are deep frying broccoli next time. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items each week, including ready to eat salads, sandwiches, and soups. And do not forget, go to hellofresh.com and use my code KarenBritchick14 to get 14 free meals mm. plus free shipping. Oh gosh. Disclaimer, we have had this dish before because we had it once and I, like I said, well, I posted it on my Instagram because it was so good. Um, um. This is so... Oh God. You know what before you swallow, it's just so, this is delicious. Anyway, Happy I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, so it's the next day. I literally, after, after we ate, I was like, right, I'm in sloth mode after that. Anyway, so hi, next day. Getting stuck in with my fall boot collection. It's not like my fall boot collection. I wear boots year round. But anyway, let me just show you my boot collection. If you are new, hi, I'm Karen Richie, as you can see by the name of this channel. Yeah, blah de blah de blah. Here we go. In no particular order, I've literally got some on the floor. I've got some here. I just realized how much I've called. Anyway, let me just speed through this. I'm not going to be doing try ons. If anything, I'll see if I can just add pictures here from my Instagram um, so you can see how they're styled on me. And all my boots that I style is really on my Instagram. So, yeah, that's it. All right. Let's start with probably my most worn boot ever. And that includes going back to London. Who knows what that is? Class is in session. I'm waiting. Okay, here it is. My Jadens. My Doc Martin Jaden boots. Everything is gonna be linked, as you know, below. Why that rhymes? Why do I rhyme when I speak? Anyway, these I have had for about three years now, I think. Three and a half-ish, something around there. I have owned docks all my life. Period, end of story. I've had them in different colors. I've had them in white. I've had them in that cherry red, which is like a cool red color. Not strawberry, but darker. I've had those, that was when I was in London. Um, growing up from London, I am very much like a lover of this brand, as a lot of us are from the UK. The original Doc Martin store is actually in London. For those of you who don't know, it is in Camden Town and I've actually been into that particular store. It is historic. Anyway, 
My love of docks goes back from as long as I can remember myself. So it was only right to kick off with these. They have an inside zip. They have an extra, extra large like sort of platform here. And that's why I love them so much. And you'll notice that as a trend throughout this whole video, my liking of like platformy boots. And the reason is twofold. One, I love that it gives you that height, but it's still comfortable. And two, leading on from that, it's just more comfortable. Plus, oh, three, I just love the vibe. I just think it's such a cool look. All right, so kicking off with these, excuse the pun of saying kicking off, that was not intended. Next up, again, these are in no particular order. These are my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. I mentioned them before in another video. I love the almond shaped toe. I love that wearable block heel and the inside zip. They are black suede and they have that. They have like a little H shape right there at the back. They are absolutely brilliant. And I've had these, these were kind of gifted to me from the brand about, no lie, five years ago, maybe even more than that. And I remember at the time I was like, oh, you know, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it because Stuart Weitzman is up there price wise. And back then for me, when I wasn't even, my my following was a lot less. And it was just, I was just a lot less in everything. It's probably actually more than that. It was probably about six years ago. And to have a brand like as big as Stuart Weitzman gift me these, I was just in awe. And I love the fact that I was able to choose something that I still love to this day. And I'm gonna be busting these out definitely for this season. Next up are two pairs of vintage boots that I own. I think, yeah, these are the only ones I've got at the moment. I say at the moment, actually, yeah, they are because I go through cowboy Western boots. I only really pick them up. I do have one that's from Ganny, I'll show you in a minute. But I usually go for vintage boots because I just love that worn in style. I think the designs on the patterns on them, the leather is really cool. Like look at these brown ones. They have like a two tone, I don't know if you can tell, but they've got like darker areas and lighter, yeah, you can see that. Love these um, and just like a nice cognac brown, really warm, oh, yummy. And then these ones are black, classic, classic, classics. Um, you can get these on eBay as well. So just type in like women's vintage cowboy boots, women's vintage boots, or type in Capazio, spelled C-A-P, Capazio. Um, they're a brand that do them as well. And there's a couple of other brands. This brand is Tony Lame. I don't know. Or just type in butterfly boots, women's vintage butterfly boots, and you'll start to see butterfly refers to this, they have designs that make it look like this is a butterfly, this is a wing here, this is a wing here, and like, you know, the main body of the butterfly is right there. So yeah, you can see loads of them online, but I just love them, I think they're badass, they look so good on, and yeah, I love them, I love, love these. Next up are these by Steve Madden. I've had these for about four years, love these still to this day. This is just like good picking from my part when I pick things that last me in my wardrobe. And these things that I've had for years, I'm still wearing these to this day. That's why they are part of this video, is because I still wear them and I still love them. I remember seeing these online and I thought they were absolutely amazing. I still think they're amazing. Look at that, that color. That snake skin doesn't go anywhere. That block heel is really kind of like timeless as well. It's a wearable heel for me. So I love these so much. And they are just below my knee. These I wear with like skirts, long kind of dresses. So, you know, I like the shaft to disappear under the hem. So it's like a perfect look. Looks really chic, chic for days. All right, next up are the Stella McCartney vegan um, leather boots. Great, these are so retro, but done in a really kick-ass modern way. Inside zip, ultra tight ankle here. I think these are brilliant. Um, I love that they are like this rubber gum, like sole and, and heel. It means that when you're walking, it's like you're completely silent because it's just a silent shoe. Because sometimes I can't stand. Leave a comment below if you can't stand when you're walking in a shoe or a boot and you can hear it, like you can hear every step that you're making along the road. I can't stand those. Anyway, it's just like announcing and people like look over, it's like, oh God, you know. These are like silent killers. Nobody knows when you're coming up behind them, but these are great, love these. Very modern retro 70s take, and I love 70s vibe, as you guys already know. And then we have these. I've got like little like cardboard roll things just to keep the shaft nice and tall. These are by Zara. I picked these up last year, or was it the year before? God, tell time flies right and because of like what happened last year like 20 
20, I kind of sort of, I've said the year we forgot, so I can't remember if I got them last year or the year before. I feel like it was the year before. Anyway, so these from Zara, great boots. Again, I'll show you stuff on the screen when I've worn them. Love the tread on them. They kind of remind me of the Gio Couture boots, which I do have in black. I'll show those in a minute. But I just love the caramel color of these. I get loads of compliments on these when I wear them, by the way. And I just think they're a fantastic boot. I love the color of just the color. It's that caramel. I love, you know I love caramels, right? So yeah, that's why I have these. And these are like a true caramel. And I just think the design of them, the cut, the heel, it's just like, look at that cut. The cut is everything. And these are them in black, but these are the actual Gia Couture boots. Love these as well. Everything I have, I love. And if there's something I don't, I will let you know. I picked these up last year. I do know that. So that means I probably got those last year too, because I remember I got them around the same time. These are great. They're a bit more in comparison. Let me just show you a comparison between the two. Um, at face value, they're kind of like the same thing, but when you look at these in person, that's when you start to notice the difference. The toe of these ones is bigger, the platform is higher, and you really feel it and notice it in person than you can on camera. These are a little bit flatter. Um, I also love that there is a back little loop right here. I just love that. It just keeps it, I don't know, it keeps that kind of equestrian vibe to it, and it goes all the way up the back with that line. It's a little detail like that that I really like, and I just love the heft of them. I love that it's a nice big platform. Again, told you I love a good platform. I would wear, actually I would wear it even with this I'm wearing now. So good. I'll link what I'm wearing below, but I would just, oh God, this would be so killer together. Next up are my Prada ankle boots in patent leather. Love them to pieces. Again, similar reasons. You're seeing a trend. I love that whole platform. It's very, very me. It's very Karen. And I know that I will always wear boots along these lines because I used to wear boots along these lines before they became so hyper big right now, you know, like with Prada and Bottega and, you know, just all the other brands like hopping on the bandwagon and um, lower price versions of them as well coming out. I personally still love that trend outside of it being a trend right now. It was something I loved anyway. So this is, this is me all, all the way down to the Doc Martens that I showed you in the very beginning. A uh, little pull tab at the back here, really easy to get on and off. I like to personally style these with almost anything. These look really good with jeans though. So if I'm looking for like a hefty ankle boot with a straight cut pair of jeans or something that's got like a little bit of like showing your ankle, just a teeny weeny bit, then I will bung these on because I think they look so good on. And I love them with dresses and skirts as well. It's a really nice way to kind of like edge up those kind of edge <laughs> to edge up those kind of pieces next up is the more recent buy this is probably the yeah, fact this is this is the newest boot in my boot collection these are by Bottega and they're called the bounce boots these are for me just I just loved the look of them they're like Doc Martens on steroids mixed with any other kind of lace-up boot uh, the biggest difference is the fact that they have that contrasting color lug sole and I love the contrast stitch. Look at that. Oh God, it's the contrast stitch for me. Bloody hell, I love that. Um, I've hit the ground running or walking rather in these. Uh, I just think they're such a great boot. I'll insert a picture of me on the streets. Uh, it was like lower Manhattan when I was wearing them. Actually with this, <laughs> I just realized, but they're great. I, I can't, there's nothing I can not say about them. Actually, there is something I can say. True story, I'll be really quick. I bought these about two months ago, right? And then I put them on and there was something about them I didn't like and I returned them. I know, I returned them. And then I turned around and got them again. Like, I don't know, by the time of this video being filmed, it was, three weeks ago, four weeks, three weeks ago, something like that, I don't know. But more recently, because I was like, I, I couldn't get them out of my brain. And I thought, I don't know, man, I don't know. Did I make a mistake? So I thought, let me order them one more time and just really make sure, like dismiss them from my brain forever. And then the second time around, I literally just hit the ground running. I did an unboxing of them and then I just wore them. I think that same day that I shot the video. And I, I think they're great, anyway. It's really weird. Has anyone ever done that? Like bought, returned, and then bought them later and then loved them? Let me know below. 
These are what I call like my sexy going out or just sexier boot when I want something that's really like a cool girl chic vibe. These I got from Schutz. These are still available and they are amazing. They look way more expensive than what they are. They also have a very Jimmy Choo like silhouette. Like if I didn't know who these were by and I was watching a YouTuber's video, I would think these were by Jimmy Choo and they're not. Uh, I just like the fact that it's got a straight back to it that goes straight down to the heel. The heel is not too big as in high, notice that, and that's what I love probably the most about them is just the cut and they made it in a wearable heel and I love that slight western vibe with the arched top. The heel is pointed but they are still really comfortable and I just think they're just great and that mock croc finish to them makes them look so expensive, right? They look so expensive and I think they they come in like, I don't want to put on the screen because I can't remember but if I, I think they come in like under under 400, under 300. I thought they were north of five or north of six, and they're not. So if you like that kind of really chic shoe, this this is the one to get. These were also gifted to me. Um, I think, yeah, when I, when I got these, I was beyond surprised when I saw them in person because I just thought, wow, you really exceeded my expectations, and they still do to this day. And I've had these for about two and a half years. Next up are my Proenzas. I have not worn these much and I need to start wearing them more because I think they're so gorgeous. They're a little bit stiff and I think that's why. In fact, let me just tell you, the Doc Martins from the very first ones I showed you, those took me, honestly, no lie, about just under a year to break in. I know, it's, it's, it's painful to hear, but it's true. The only tip I can give you for wearing the Docs and this, in these kind of boots is to just wear them in the rain because that's what I did and I found and just wearing them and I found that over time it just started to soften and just slowly break in and get that signature crease across here which I don't mind I don't care about creases some of you are like oh my gosh why is it creasing it should stay new so these aren't museum pieces these are shoes to be worn and just enjoy them these Proenzas fantastic that contrasting stitch can we see a theme on my channel unloving contrasting stitch i first saw these on a guy um i was doing what everyone is wearing in new york he was wearing them and my eyes popped out of their sockets my jaw dislocated my tongue rolled out onto the floor when i saw these on him because i thought these were so cool anyway so i ordered them and i love them and he also said that they were a to just break in and he's right they are a little bit but i don't care i'm gut so help me God, I'm gonna break these suckers in. These are my Sam Edelman. These are probably the only cream outside of my Bottegas, which I'll show you in a moment, boots. But these are my only all cream boot. Everything right down to the actual sole, the heel, everything. There's no contrasting part at all. It's all one solid cream color. It may come off as white, but it's not. It's like a cream. No, not even cream. It's like a crew. I don't know. It's not white, that's the whole point. These are great. They're so comfortable. I got this with a project that I was doing for um, Sam Edelman. So these were gifted to me as part of like doing the project. And I have worn them so much ever since. And I think these are great. I didn't know they were missing in my wardrobe, but they clearly were because so many times I reach for these. Like these with like, oh my God, my cargo pants, right? These, I've already worn them actually. Here, I'll show you with my cargos. These look so good with like any kind of lighter colored, clothing even like a long column dress like the knitters knits i've got and just to wear these it's just so different and and it just looks cool to just wear like a lighter colored boot and these are great so um i don't know if they got these exact same ones but in ones have ones really similar to them and i will definitely link these below highly recommend they do run big at least these ones do i wish i got a size down too late now i wear them with thick socks great super comfortable from day one don't need, doesn't need breaking in all right so my two other bottega boots this uh i probably just needs no introduction i'm sure everyone knows about these i have worn these a lot as well these are the bottega tire boots great these are the ones that do not have the swirly whirly pattern that goes around here i do have ones that do have that in a moment but i just wanted to show you these ones i think these were like the first ones that bottega came out in the tire boots because they are just completely plain um, with that stretch gusset part in the middle here i love the two pull-ons they are great i love that kind of just the the platform that step here there it has one step two steps one step 
two step. One step, two step. <laughs> That's not like I'm a, in a dance, I'm a dance school instructor. Just fantastic. I, they really have stood up, like held up really well. During the dead of winter, these are fantastic to wear. I love how trousers and pants just slouch at the top of them. It just has a really cool kind of vibe and they're great, really good boots to get. And I'm very glad that I, I bit the bullet and got them because I really was like, I'm in an R ring, I'm in an R ring. But again, I was thinking like, is this gonna be me beyond when people stop wearing it? And honestly, what the heck is that? I think these will be all leather inside. They're just great. Tons of dupes to these. As usual, I will link those dupes for you below. And these are the other Bottega boots that I have. Um, the black ones, I think I told you I got them last year, I can't remember. These, I think I got uh, just after I got the black, I got these. These are obviously, I just doesn't need any explanation really. These are the cream version of them. I love that contrasting um, wavy pattern that goes all the way around. And I love that kind of like clear, it's not loose side, but you know what I mean? That sole where it's just completely clear. I just think it's such unusual take on a boot and I just, I would even wear it with this one wearing, just to have like a really, oh, look at that, together. I can actually see that because the black is picking up on the black and I'm wearing something quite bright and this is just kind of cream so it just flatters each other. It's like cool, this is cool, this is cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will link any dupes to these and um, anything that I own in the description also here are my Ganny Western cowboy boots these are the only like designery cowboy boots that I own I love the heart um, cut out right there I think that's really clever the way they did that these look like black and white but they're actually very dark burgundy and white let me see if that'll pick up it's like a burgundy color even on here but you can see it look at the tip see yeah around the edges see it's actually burgundy right but you can't tell you think it's black and white and it reads as black and white on my foot unless you met me in person and just looked down at them like da, 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 and really like your eyes da, 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 and you really focused on them you would notice that they're like Ooh. especially if the light hits them then it kind of like brightens them and you see the burgundy but yeah these are love them i've always liked these um, i ummed and ahed again with these ones because they're quite loud, but I love that kind of like cow print Western look. Yeah, that's really it. I can't explain. These are great. Nobody wears these anymore. And who gives a toss? I love them. That's all that matters. Another boot I'm going to mention is my, where are they? They're by Tamara Mellon. It's those gray boots. I can't find them. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can... Let me see if they're up here. These boots that I said to you guys in a video a couple of weeks ago, um, I said to you that I would like to dye them black, right? Because I just thought I wasn't reaching for this ice, cool, gray, light color. And I still don't. I did make it work with this outfit. You'll sh see right here on the screen with the lilac. I love that skirt so much. Anyway, if you want to see the video about this whole ensemble, I'll link it for you below. But it looks good with that and I, I can see that but I still overall I don't reach for these boots enough to justify keeping them I've had them for at least two years and I don't wear them I've worn them on shoots and that's it I've never actually worn them normally every day and I know why it's because they're not that comfortable I thought they were and I put them on <laughs> I put them on and I went out wearing them and I was like this they were just uncomfortable and I was walking like and I tell you this in my videos you've got to be comfortable in what you're wearing so you're not doing this <laughs> when you're walking you know and I was almost doing that I mean I held it together trust me but these were not comfortable and it's because of the height the heel is too high this and I know it doesn't look like much of a difference but on my foot massive difference this height I can wear this height I can't this this Oh my God, they look almost alike, hold on. Oh no, they're not, look, see? See, there's a there's a, a fraction of a height difference between these ones, but I know it's only a fraction, but try to tell me that's a fraction too much. I can't wear these. So I'm not gonna dye them because I'm gonna dye them black and I still won't be able to wear them because they're just not comfortable anymore for me. So I'm going to probably sell them. But yeah, it's a shame because they're lovely, but they're, they're only lovely in my head if I can't wear them. 
And last but not least are my beloved Zara boots. The under the knee uh, combat platform boot. I picked these up, I think it was, two, I think they're like two, two years ago. Yeah, can, God, can you believe it? Who, who can believe it? If you, I'm sure a lot of you, if you shop on Zara, you know these. I don't shop on Zara that often, but when I do, I'm like strategic. Like I go in, like laser focused, and like ping, and I pick something out that I know I'm going to just wear and keep for a long time. And this was one of them. It's a bit like those wide leg grey pants, which I'll show you right here. Those are from Zara. I picked them up on clearance. Same thing. I know that I'm digressing, but I'm just making the point. I saw those, bought them four years ago ish, and I still to this day think they're amazing. I'm gonna rock. I'm going to, I'm gonna so rock those this fall. It's great. But anyway. Same with these. I think they're great. They so, they kept selling out. Who remembers? Comment below if you were trying to get these boots, right? And remember how they just kept selling out? Because they did, and for good reason. Because I just love the the style of them. They just really nailed it. Zara. Zara, you nailed it, all right. And I think you you lot know you nailed it, but they you nailed it. So I still to this day think they're fantastic. I love how comfortable they are inside zips. You don't have to faff around with all of this crap. Just nice platform good heft to them, just, oh, I couldn't even wear them with this, oh, anyway, that is it, those are my boots, I'm looking around, because I'm, you know what, you know what I'm doing, I'm trying to think if I lift anything out, if I left anything out, I will put it on the screen, but I don't think I did, I think we got them all, ah! all right, that is it, that is my boot collection, tell me what is your favourite, if you, if you even have a favourite below, and what is your favourite boot? That is it. I'm gone. See you on Tuesday. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That is it. I'm done. And if we say that is it one more time, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, 